Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Where have I been you may ask? Well, me and Neil have been moving into this beautiful home and I have been humping and bumping boxes. But it is time, I have put my cork in my new house and in this room here which I have as my creative corner, um, I created a piece that I'd like to share with you. So if you are interested in seeing this, which I think is pretty pretty cool resin piece that represents the power of the ocean and this wave crashing and the emotion that's in it watch the rest of this video it's a simple process most people should be able to have a go at this and i'd love to know if you do how you found it yourself now i'm working for the first time with color me happy pigments they are an amazing pigment that you can add to resin and they are very vibrant in colour but also translucent which I found really interesting because you can layer it up and add depth and create so much amazing effect. Put my teeth in and um, the lady that creates them I'm going to pop in the little link at the bottom right hand corner there. She's an international resin artist herself but she also does lovely pigments um, uh, for us all to try. So Give them a go. There's a little, um, I believe, coupon in there for you. So if you are interested in purchasing them, uh, the link's all there. So without further ado, if you really want to see how I created this piece, watch the rest of this video. And remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. And let me know how you get on with this. Other than that, I'm Sharon, I'm digressing, and I'm back. Have the most amazing day. Remember to be creative and remember to connect with me. Ciao! Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I am going to be exploring the Colour Me Happy Pigments. I did a little unboxing video on them and there will be the description and links underneath my video. So bottom right corner, there's a little triangle, click on that. It should list all the products that I'm using in here. So I'm super excited to give these a test drive and see how these pigments go in the resin. Now I believe these are quite strong, they're UV resistant and they blend beautifully with resin. So add one at a time until you get the consistency that you want and I believe a little will go a long way. So today I am going to be using a canvas board. I'm going to be using the white, sorry that's just where I had dirty hands when I picked them up from my other resin ocean blue you know me i love oceans and when you're testing something you want to work with colors that you're used to emerald a deep blue and i'm going to add a little bit of these silver glitter to the white not a lot but just a little so i am just going to do an interpretation of maybe an ocean not meant to be realistic just working with these tones and colors just so that we can see how beautifully uh, these pigments will mix with the resin the strength of color and how they are to play with so this may need two coats uh, but let's go on this journey so the resin i'll be using is mastercast one to one one part hardener to one part resin and i am going to be still working through these paper cups from kids parties from many years ago and I'm Sharon, I'm digressing. You probably can hear a little fan in the background. I'm hoping it's not going to create too much noise, but it is something to help purify the air. It's called Pure Mate, and also it's got an uh, anion. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but what that does is it's supposed to draw the dust particles out of the air, or at least reduce them. And I'm going to give this a test go and see if that's going to help me when I'm working with my resin art. I'm also going to use my new heat gun and I'm hoping it's going to be kind to me and that was a present both of those actually from Neil but I kept them until I'm in my new space so this is going to be my first creation that's going to go on YouTube from my new art space so let's see how it goes please resin God be kind to us and I'll see you on the other side of mixing when we start to add these pigments all right let's see if I have done this right so I'm going to add the white to this one with three drops see how strong that is one two now four five for the white <laughs> just want that to be strong there you can see it looks like there's hardly anything in there i'm going to mix that and you should see that color 
start to distribute between the resin so I need to see if I need to add more white to this just make sure it's gone all the way through yeah I definitely need to add more so from a white point of view especially if I want it to be a true white and with any pigment you will need to add more or less depending on what color it is that you're working with it's all to do with the strength of the pigments well you probably already know that okay that's looking a little bit true more white there we go I just add a little bit more because I really want this to complement the deep colours that I'm going to be using so I don't want it to be washed out quite excited first time using these okay let's go with that now whenever I'm doing oceans not that this is an ocean it's just a feeling of the colours usually it's casting craft so it's going to be nice to see how this all shapes up against these beautiful so we're going to go deep blue and I'm going to have beautiful deep colours. So I think I'm just going to add four drops to this. One, two, three, four. And let's see how strong that one is. See how quickly that blood in there that's strong but it's um, transparent but I think I'm going to leave it like that because I want to see how long how that's going to go against the other blue it's not blue my white that's the other blue ocean blue so is this going to be deeper and then a green Two, three, four. Let's have a look at the ocean blue. You can see that tinge of green. Yeah, it's very deep. Got that tinge of green in it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Almost like the emerald green. So we've got the blue, the green, but now we are going to add the deep blue the ocean blue now we're doing the emerald green here see the color to this so this doesn't have the tone of the blue coming through it is very very green it's beautiful quite translucent I'm wondering if I should leave that as translucent to that or maybe I quite like that though because if I'm trying to get the top of maybe an ocean let me just add one more drop see I keep saying an ocean this is not meant to be an ocean is it meant to be an ocean feeling absolutely but am I going for realism no just want to work with these colors see how they are beautiful happy with those three so I am gonna add put those safely out the way I'm gonna add a tiny little bit of the glitter calling me happy glitter I've got glitter all right just a little little drop don't want too much tapping it in just to hopefully represent a sparkle of glistening Give that a little mix in. Might need to add some to the top of the paint. Painting. All right, so I've got my board twisted to an angle so that you can see it. But if we are going for say a wave crusting not that it's meant to be an ocean or a wave specifically shown but we seem to be going that way we are going to come down with the greenest of the green part of the wave here Okay. 
thing, leave some of that. And then a lot, but I want the dark colour. Oh no. Oh, Sharon nearly made a disaster there. A little bit of the foam here. And again, it's not meant to be natural, realistic way. I keep saying that, Sharon. Now we're going to come with a deep blue here. Contrast into Just how high I mixed enough. Resin. I'm not thinking I've got enough here. Add a bit more white there. I think I'm going to have to quickly mix some resin up. Skip this forward and make some more resin up quickly. Actually, let's see what happens when I heat it up. Is it going to want to spread more? Because it's in quite thick chunks there. Let's try this all over again. Change my gloves because they're very sticky now and I don't want to get these colour me happy pigments too dirty. So I'm loving the idea of this. So let's see if I can make it happen. Using the same cups. Mix in.
So I definitely will have some resin left over because I thought I didn't want to have to mix any more up. So I've done this. But what I'll do is put this one to bed and come and make a nice little piece. So I've got the white thick enough. white more solid just to represent that nice foam I might have a little bit of foam happening here where it looks like one waves just sort of I shall see I'm talking about waves and it's not meant to be a realistic one I must be craving the ocean all right so I am going to come back here and make sure I've got enough dark here. so I'm gonna to have to come back and heat this all up again but I want the dark to contrast this wave here where it's lighter and where the white's gonna be it's gonna go out to a little bit lighter blue and then here again to contrast make it look like a little bit of movement there alrighty then a little bit of this down here the lighter one and come in with the blue at the top that to blow down here and I'll save whatever I've got left there to go around the edges and don't think I'm going to need any of that I sprinkled some of that on but I am now going to add a little bit more foam all right so I'm going to go quite a lot here again So I want that to look like that's coming over and then there. All right, let's see what this is going to do. Like I need a bit more there. What the white down, Sharon? Now I normally put two coats onto my oceans to create that feeling of a movement in the waves, but this has got some nice, nice things happening. I feel like I just want to bring a, a more solid line here though for the white.
like I need to just get some more deepness here. That white's toned it down, sort of. Probably a little bit too much for my liking. I really want to look like that's a rolling wave. Work in progress. I dragged it around there. Ah. Let me come and fix that up. All right, let's see if I can fix this. Do I have white? Push some of that white downwards to get some of this back. So I'm just going to continue blowing on here just to create a little bit of texture to that in there. Okay, I'm going to leave that as it is. 
I'm a bit lightheaded. Right, I'll see how this cures and I'll see if I need to come back and create a second layer. But overall, these pigments in this colour is absolutely um, stunning. So I'm just trying to blend that in there. Want the feeling of movement, but or foam, but I just want to, yeah. I just want to get some uh, coming through a little bit there. It's just where the wave starts to crest, it's normally very dark, so I just want to make sure and see where the wave is. Cresting, and we've got that dark line. this foreground to have a little bit of movement in there it's uh, when I heated it up some of it's all run off so just trying to make it look like it's swirling which it is now so happy with that The risk of overworking it. I just don't like how it keeps going light there. I want it to have a little bit of darkness. All right, I'm gonna bring you in for a close up. So, going to bring you in for a close up. This has got to cure. Apologies for the wastage on the floor. I'm going to scoop all that up now, put it on another piece. But I think you can see these pigments are just beautiful in these colors, and I think it has a lot of movement in there. I think these colours were beautiful. You've got the illusion of a wave crash in there. Can't wait to see what it cures like. I'll bring you back in. Hope you enjoy. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. So I am coming in and doing a second coat. I love the concept of the first coat. What I do need to do is just make more depth. And because this is quite transparent, even though it's a strong pigment, I can see uh, things in there coming through like the canvas. So you can choose to paint your canvases underneath or you can add a second layer. So I'm going to try and keep true to the feeling of this one. But I need a second layer. So let's see if I can do it without absolutely ruining it. So I'm going to come back in, similar kind of colour scheme, try and get a little bit darker here. Still add this movement here. Add some of this foam going off here, but I am going to come in with a little bit of the casting craft, which is my preferred thing to use for keeping foam. I'm going to mix it in with the Colour Me Happy. Pigment is absolutely beautiful, but I get some nice cells of this. So I'm going to combine these two together just because I want to have a more of a pop of the white coming through. But let's see, I've got a vision now. Let's see if I can make it work. And I'm hoping this camera angle is going to be a good one. All right, this has been stirred for three minutes and there are no stringy bits. So I'm going to divide and conquer. And let's see how we do. I'll leave some reds into one side. And I am going to start with form a deep blue. 
ma ocean blue. Four of my emerald green. Some more white, but I'm actually going to mix in casting craft as well with that. Okay, so I'll bring it up again so you can see my four drops in there and watch how beautifully this mixes in and how much colour that actually gives. Stir it in until you see all the resin blend in with it. Rotate it around a bit and you can see that beautiful translucent blue. It's a very nice colour. Coming on with a deep blue now, spread out a little bit but just four drops. Oh, look how beautifully that blends in. I think I might add another drop to that one. This is the emerald green, four drops spread out a little bit. It's just yummy. All right, so that one I'm quite happy with because I want the green to come through from the underneath anyway. So I think that is just gonna be beautiful and yummy. I think this one is, but I am going to add some more drops to that deep um, ocean blue. I want that to be where some of the depth is, so I'll just add another few dots there. Alright, and let's have a look how the white is. So this is the white I've just added a tiny little bit of casting craft because I really want this to feather and sell so it's mixed with a little bit of colour me happy white and a little bit of the casting craft so it's made it more solid and this is not new. very good because I want the underneath foam to come through a little bit but I think that's going to be beautiful so stop digressing Sharon let's have some fun I've got some clear to one side as well just in case I need to add colours everywhere. So let's go with what I do know. This here, you've got to be brave. <laughs> I'm going to go over the white a little bit, but this is where I want my green of the wave where it's rising and breaking to be. So I'm going to add that back to there. I'm going to trail it through a little bit here. one side and then I am going to put my deep green or deep blue shall I say here because I want the darkness to come through where the wave is breaking and then I want my other blue To be at the front and at the top and then I'm going to come in with the and I can add a little bit of white if needed just to make that I'm just going to smooth it out to the edges and then I'm going to add the white but I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the green
more of that green here. All right, so let's move these out of the way. And then I am going to get my heat gun on there through my hands. So I'm going to torch it first, get rid of bubbles. And I'm going to come through with my heat gun. And I hope I can get it back so <laughs> like that. Never fear. Come on, you can do it, Sharon. Alright, I should have got rid of most of the bubbles. But I just want to make sure the resin is coming to the edges and meeting up. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna let that settle down. So I'm loving the darkness here. It really does look like that's raising up. I feel like I need a bit more texture and motion here. So I'm gonna see what I can do a little bit with sort of dragging little bits up here because she would have little ripples coming through. To represent the movement of the war so this is just the fine detail now do now is try and lighten up this area here she says I'm thinking it but I'm not sure you just here because I want to replicate a little bit of movement I still want to just have a little bit of detail here where it's uh, sort of crashing a little bit I might come back through with a torch again. Just a little bit more white here. that I'm losing some of that blue.
a little bit more dark blue here. bring some of this blue back here. I need a tiny little bit of white Now, if that was to stay like that, I would say that I love that. Let's get rid of any more bubbles. Definitely want to keep blue here. And I think I want to go a little bit darker here.
little bit of white just here where I think Job's a good one. Apple balls, cover up. So this is where it has evolved to. Feel the power of that ocean. Love it. Love, love, love. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. We are coming in for a review of this piece. It's cured. I'm sorry if you're going to get a glare on this, but I'll do my best to show you. And I'm going to take you to the bottom right hand corner there. I love the movement and the mistiness as the ocean just under where the wove, wave, wove, wave broke before. So we're going to go up to the top left. And I love how you can see the power of the ocean and the curve of the wave coming up. I wish I had managed to keep some of the blue for the skyline. But look at that power of that ocean and wave. And I love that you can see the underneath part here coming through. And overall, super happy. I know that I said I wasn't going to create an ocean or wave, but it went that way. That's what the resin was telling me it wanted to be. I absolutely loved working with the Colour Me Happy Pigments. I'd recommend you give them a go if you're interested in uh, beautiful, vibrant um, pigments for your resin. Remember, there's a link and a coupon in the bottom right hand triangle under my video. They'll take you to where uh, Colour Me Happy are. And also you'll get to see the amazing international resin artist that created them. And I'd love to know what you do create if you go ahead with it. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share. Comments are always welcome. And I'd love to know what you think about this piece. And if you have used the Colour Me Happy pigments, what have you used to create them with? And remember, um, it's great to be back. <laughs> be kind, be nice people, be creative. And I'll be on and off for the next few weeks because we're getting the kids over and we're going to go for, to Greece to get inspired and relax. And then I'll be really back. But I've missed you all and it's been great hanging out and I hope you've enjoyed seeing this. See you on the next one.